In a speech read on his behalf by Deputy Chairperson in the National Council, Victoria Kauma, Chairperson of the National Council, Lucas Muha, described the late as an analytical and vibrant leader who always studied issues before taking the floor. I have no doubt in my mind that he would have done more for his constituency, the region, and the country at large as a member of parliament. I was highly impressed by his intelligent and significant interventions on the different votes of ministries. We are talking about votes. That is the bill we have discussed during our session. In his message of condolence, President Hage Gengob said the late Mukaya was instrumental through his youth leadership within the Swapo party and was among the national cadres who worked tirelessly to ensure all Namibian youth have access to education. The Deputy Minister of Environment, Forestry and Tourism, Heather Sibungo, read the message by the head of state. Comrade Mukaya's love for his country and people always guided him to put Namibia first. Throughout his time in Nanso, Swako, and in Parliament, he, con he continued to advocate unity among the people of the Zambezi region. To the very last end, he stood for and strongly cherished the idol of a united, free, non-racial, non-ethnic, non-tribal Namibia, in which future generations of Namibians can live in. The founding president, Sam Yoma, and former president, Ifike Mpujipohamba, in their messages of condolences, described Mukaya as a young man of courage and principle who would be remembered for his unwavering belief in democratic values and nation building, as well as for his efforts to help forge a society based on freedom, social justice, and unity. Mukaya is survived by his wife, mother, five siblings, and 16 children.